Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Tay TV. Uh, this is my first reaction of 2024. I want to say Happy New Year to you guys. And let's have a good year this year. Let's do what we got to do to achieve our goals and make our dreams come true. Now, in my video, I'm going to be reacting to something different. For the first time on my channel, I'm reacting to this video. To this video called scary and creepy tiktok stories that will give you the chills this is my first time reacting to this let's get into mysterious videos let's get into this video and follow me on my on my socials but let's get into this video and let's have a good year this year that can't be explained in 2014, 28-year-old Lars Matank decided to go to Bulgaria with some of his friends. Everything was going normally, until Lars began to experience ear pain after going to a soccer game. Turns out he ruptured his eardrum. So when he went to a soccer game, he ruptured his eardrum. And the doctor told him to not fly home with his friends and to wait a couple days for his ear to heal. And that is when he began to act strange. He texted his mom and told her that he was in danger. He said that four men were after him and that his mom should cancel his credit card. Luckily, he stayed safe until he got to the airport to leave. Security cam footage shows Lars walking in. He casually walks through the airport with his luggage, nothing unordinary. But minutes later, he sprints out of the airport as if someone's chasing him, and he has none of his bags. He then hops the fence and runs into the woods. To this day, nobody knows what happened to Lars Matank. Nobody knows who or what made him run out of that airport. And after six years, we may never find out. Scariest Dark Web Stories, Part 1. Okay, so there was once this guy who did nothing else but play on the dark web. He would skip basketball practice to play on it. He would be up late at night. I mean, he was on it 24-7. So like everybody else, he wanted to meet a friend. So he went on this chat room and him and this guy, they did nothing but share funny videos back and forth with one another through the dark web chat room. So over the course of the next three months, they ended up building a really, really good friendship. Well, that was until his so-called friend sent a link. So once the man clicked the link, to his surprise, there was a live stream playing. And there were over 100 people in this chat room watching this live stream. So as he was watching this live stream, a woman who was tied up being carried by a man with a black mask popped into the screen. The man then said on the camera he wanted everybody in the chat room to vote which weapon he should use on this woman. There was a flamethrower, boiling water, and a gun. The chat then voted on the boiling water, and they put this woman in the boiling water on. It's like no other school in the nation. Not what you expect in a four-year university. Live stream. Here are some of the creepiest moments ever captured on live TV, part one. In the 1980s, there was a Canadian TV show entitled Just Like Mom, hosted by a man named Fergie Oliver. The majority of the contestants featured on the show were young girls typically under the age of 13, and the hosts would always try and kiss them. You might assume that these were innocent little kisses on the cheek, but this is something entirely different, and the footage is quite disturbing. Look at me a little closer. They're green. Can I have a little kiss, please? Oh, oh, what? Oh. Can I have a hug and a kiss? Even if I say and whisper in your ear that Allison, you're going to win the show, boy, you missed. Fergie Oliver went on to host 595 episodes of Just Like Mom and star in countless other shows as well. The footage is one of the creepiest things that I've ever seen, and definitely the most disturbing thing that I can post on TikTok. I can't believe these naive kids actually did this. After a long day, four kids head home after playing. As they get towards their house, a van slowly goes past, turns around, and comes back and stops. The back doors of the van open, and two women are sitting there who seem lovely, say to the kids, would you guys like some candy? Believing that they were safe because there was four of them, the kids decided to say, sure. But as the kids jump into the back of the van with the two kind ladies, two men run around the side of the van. They're wearing pig masks and suddenly lock the kids in. With the kids screaming, the van takes off. After travelling a bit, the kids wake up after being knocked down. Their hands and feet are bound. In front of the witnesses, the masked men get out of the van and carry the kids into this old abandoned house. They can hear screams coming from the house and when police finally arrive, the 
kids, nor the masked men or the two women are ever found. To this day, no one actually knows what happened to those children, but it's believed they were tortured. Because people say when you walk past that house today, you can hear the kids screaming for help. Here are some of the scariest fishing videos caught on camera. Part 1. In October of 2012, a fisherman named Dusty Harpool spotted two killer whales swimming together in Alaska. They appeared to be circling Dusty's boat, but he soon discovered that they were actually hunting down a nearby mother sea otter and her newborn pup. Unfortunately, the two killer whales had already eaten the baby sea otter, but the mother managed to escape by climbing aboard Dusty's boat. The killer whale swam right by while Dusty started the engine to his boat, allowing the mother sea otter to ride away to safety. But after she was safe, the mother otter begins crying out for her lost pup, who she knows will never return. You're okay. This is why you should always lock your crawl space. In 2019, a young woman had just moved into the second floor of an apartment building. She noticed a tiny crawl space that connected all the apartments on the floor, but she wrote it off citing, who'd be small enough to crawl through that? One night, she walks into her living room and out on the fire escape is a tiny woman desperately trying to yank open her locked windows. Terrified, she hides behind some furniture until the woman eventually leaves, at which point she runs into a room, grabs her phone, and calls the police. While waiting for the cops to arrive, she hears something above her and she looks up. One of the ceiling tiles had popped up and the woman from the fire escape is staring down at her. She'd used the crawl space to get up there. The girl screams and the woman scurries away. It took three days for the police to finally get the woman out of the crawl space and bring her into custody. Turns out she was on some unknown, extremely hard drug and had totally lost her mind. This is why you should always lock all your doors. So it was the middle of the night and a man woke up to get a glass of water. He heard some snow crunching and he checked out of his window. It was a strange man stumbling around in circles. in his front yard. He immediately called 911 and explained his situation. The officer told him that help was on the way and he should stay on the phone. The man went to check if the back door was locked. When he got back, he saw the man standing upside down and staring at him. The officer told him to remain calm and check the back door again. When he looked back again, he saw the man's face pressed up against the window. The officer told him to lock himself inside a room. Then he asked him if he was alone. He said he was alone, but the face in the window started shaking his head. He was telling him that he was not alone. And that was the last thing that the officer heard from that man. These are the most scariest kids that ever live, part two. This is John Venables and Robert Thompson. In the winter of 1993, John Venables and Robert Thompson, both 10 years old at the time, became the youngest convicted murderers in England. On February 12, 1993, the boys abducted a two-year-old named James Bulger. The boys brought him to a local railroad track, where they brutally beat the boy using an iron bar. Then finally, they let him die on the railroad tracks, and his body was later found there by authorities. Somehow, despite committing this gruesome murder, both boys were released from prison in 2001 when they turned 18 years old, and they both now live under new identities. This was very disturbing, especially because two 10-year-old boys committed this horrible crime. When you finish this video, you're going to Google two words. In 2014, two Dutch college students were staying in Panama when they decided to take their host family's dog out for a walk. The dog returned, but the girls didn't. After 10 weeks without any leads, a local woman turned in a blue backpack that contained the girls' cell phones and their camera. Using their call log, they were able to determine that the girls would attempt to reach emergency services 77 times, all unsuccessful, starting just hours into their trip. It was also determined that five days after those 77 calls, somebody tried unsuccessfully several times to unlock the girls' phones. But the most distressing thing is what was found on the camera. The first set was taken on the day they left and they were totally normal. The second set was taken in the middle of the night over a week after they had left and it showed all their belongings neatly laid out on a rock and it showed one of the girls who appeared to be hurt. They found their remains spread out around the area where the backpack was found and some of their bones appeared to have been bleached. There is still no official cause of death or explanation as to what happened. This is it for this video. This was my first time watching. This was my first time. Watching this, stay tuned.